Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is PK, and I'm here with my client, Shibu Chan um, from Adelaide, who um, has just got a just bought a really fantastic property. He shared with me the details before, so I'll just read them out for everyone's benefit, for your benefit. So um, the purchase price was $370,000. The valuation um, was basically the same. Um, he was able to get this property, even though there was more than 30 groups that were actually interested. So it was a very fierce market in this, um, in this particular suburb. The, the rents will be $360 per week, all the way, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Shibichan, all the way to April uh, 2022. So yep, it just sure. settled uh, a couple of days ago. So there's no rental issues, positive cash flow. Um, it's, it's a relatively, you could say new ish property. So it's only, you know, 15, 20 years old. So there'll be good yeah. depreciation benefits, which is a bit of a bonus. Yeah. And, um, Shimichan was just sharing with me that the property is already grown just in the last month or two by about $30,000. So it's already in the four hundreds. Um, so great, great sort of results. So, um, congratulations, uh, Shimichan, and thank you for, for making time and I think the, the point of this video is really for everyone who's watching to gain some inspiration of what's possible and we'll just go through I'll just ask Shibichan a few questions and and hopefully they add value to, to you guys who are watching and you get some inspiration and some knowledge so that you can also achieve this kind of growth plus positive cash flow type of outcome. Um, so maybe if we just start from the start Shibichan like what talk to me about your sort of um, your property investing journey before you you started working with me. So you were already an investor, or, or what was the story there? Yeah, um, I was always looking to buy, uh, get into the market, and then uh, even for last four or five years, and I was in a doubt to do it um, or not do it kind of thing. And then I ended up buying a, um, a property in Gold Coast. Um, the, basically, it was not uh, based on any study or something like that, but I just look into only um, certain uh, certain things like rental return and uh, the, um, just how the suburb is performing. And then I bought that one, um, and, and that was my and and then that was working really good for me. Then I thought, okay, I should, it's time to go for the next one. And then my mind was um, um, just to get into uh, Melbourne or uh, Sydney or something where, you know, you will have a guaranteed um, capital growth in the long term. But then I didn't realize um, um, uh, I can buy a positive cash flow. I mean, I, mean, I realized I can't buy a positive cash flow. Pro I can't buy a positive cash flow property up there. I almost signed up a deal in there and then um, it was in a double mind. And that's when I started um, uh, to study your course. And I put that one on a hold for some time. And um, I started doing a course. And by the time I um, um, started doing like week one, week two, week three, week four, then I said, yeah, no, that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> you got a lot of other options kind of thing. And um, Adelaide was never in my mind um, uh, to buy a property because I was living in Adelaide almost for 10, 12 years. And I was thinking it's not a good time to, I mean, good place to buy for an investment. But then <clears throat> once I, um, um, got the confidence through the studies. And once I started um, um, going through the data and um, all those kind of things, then I realized, yes, that was a good spot um, to buy um, at that time. And then, um, yeah, and I started seriously started um, looking in, in, in certain suburbs, which was doing really, really good. And um, yeah, and I was really lucky to get into one. Like I, I didn't, like when I signed the contract, I didn't finish my week five. I think I, I was only up to week four or something and I yeah, hit an opportunity in there. So yeah, I was really yeah. good. Uh, when the opportunity yeah. presents itself, you have to you have to grab it with both hands. And so if we re rewind a little bit for everyone's benefit, like what was, what motivated you to actually buy the course? Or in other words, what were the challenges that you were experiencing that you thought that you needed to spend all this money to get um, education of, of, of data and the processes of, of advanced property investing? Um, yeah, even though I had a, an investment property in, um, uh, before, but then I was, um, I didn't know what's the science behind it kind of thing. What I did was like, 
I rely uh, mostly on my friends who, who bought a property in, in suburbs kind of thing, um, which was working really good for them. And that was my criteria of doing it. And then um, I, I've contacted a, a few of those um, um, uh, agents who help us to buy the property. But then I see it was all um, home and land package. And um, there was a couple of guys who was forcing me to buy in Logan and all those kind of places where I put in a deposit um, and then I redraw after that. And, you know, and then I was really not confident um, what to do at that stage. But once I started um, doing the course and when once I started um, to, to do the suburb selection and all those kind of things and have to um, buy a property, when to buy it and where to buy it, um, that's when I become more confident um, about investing. And then, um, yeah, I really, um, uh, yes, I was really focused to, um, uh, put what I've learned um, through the course into practice, and then that really um, helped me to get into that one. That's then, great. Yeah. That's great. And I think it's really important to note that for people who are listening to this, and you know, much like you, Shivachan, you're you're thinking that you need to buy in Sydney or Melbourne because that is where the capital growth is. Actually, that's not the only place in Australia that capital growth exists, and. If you buy even one property in Sydney, Melbourne, it'll be so negatively geared that it'll cost you ten, twenty thousand dollars a year to hold, and then the banks will, even if you can afford it, the banks will simply not lend to you for future properties yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's so right. negative. So um, you really need to look outside of these major, at least Sydney, Melbourne, to to be able to grow a portfolio, and that's where the data comes into it. That's where the science comes into it. Um, and so Shivichan. Um, like what, what was the biggest thing that you learned from the course? So what was the biggest value add from the property investment accelerator that you were able to implement or what, maybe what's like the biggest learning that you can share to people who are maybe like you before doing the course, course. they already have maybe one investment property. It was kind of not so scientifically bought. Now they want to take things more seriously. What advice can you can you pass on? Oh well, I can talk for hour on this one. But then, uh, <laughs> the, the main thing um, I, I would say is my mindset was like I told you, like I was planning to buy in Sydney or Melbourne. My my plan was to buy a property which is um, basically costing me six hundred thousand or seven hundred thousand, and then um, uh, which is returning me around four hundred fifty or five hundred dollars of rent. Um, um, and then I was thinking maybe um, eight years down the track, uh, maybe I'll get a good capital growth, um, even though it's going to cost me um, money to hold the property. But then I never realized it's a good idea to um, spend only um, uh, 350 370 on a property. And with that 700 I can um, buy two positive cash flow properties. So that way I can keep kicking on uh, with the same process uh, rather than getting stuck with one or two properties. So that was really a game changer for me um i know i was thinking maybe i could buy um, i had one already and i could buy maybe another one or two and then that's the end of it and the bank would say no you can't have any more yeah that should have been the case like i've been um done the study or um thing but now i'm so happy i've done this one and this really is helping me so that's one thing and then the second thing was where to buy um uh, that was my another concern like <clears throat> to select the right suburb in the right time and then yeah. Uh, yeah so that was another thing which i um, um uh, which i learned uh, and um, i'm 100 percent sure it's going to help me in my journey right from now so i'm looking to buy the next one maybe in another six months time you know, most probably so no, that's good to hear yeah so it's really helped me I'm, I'm so happy i did that one no that's that's so great to hear because you know some people often think that properties under 500 under four hundred thousand dollars they're not high performance properties but actually those are the ones that you need to target in order to not have the banks clamp down on you in terms of serviceability lending strategy is so important and um, a bit like what you said as well um, growth can be can be timed where to buy and when to buy it's just not about time in the market it's about timing the market and like you've done Shibichan, like you've already achieved 30 forty thousand dollars of growth in literally one or two months um, timing in the market is is everything. Um, so no, that that's really good to hear. And um, maybe maybe the last thing, if if you don't mind, um, what would your advice to be to someone be who sort of 
you know, um, they've been on realestate.com, they've been on domain, they've been on the YouTube, they've been on Facebook forums, they're consuming lots of content, but they're actually just failing at research. They still don't know after many weeks or months of where to buy, what to buy, what their strategy should be. Um, you know, maybe that was your situation, hesitant or apprehensive about doing the course, I don't know. Um, what would you say to someone who's on the fence and, you know, this is an expensive course. It's not just one or two or three thousand dollars. What would your your advice um, to them be? Yeah, I'm. I don't know if you remember. Then I've been I've been getting in touch with you uh, from last one year, um, um, asking you questions about the course and how it's going to work and things like that. And then um, once I said uh, the money, um, I was thinking this. It's a big money. I don't know if that's going to be worth putting in that much money for a course like this rather than, rather I would buy put that money in buying another property that's going to help me but and I was thinking about it almost for six seven months um, um, I was just um, going through all your Facebook posts and your um, videos and YouTube channels and things like that and then slowly slowly I realized uh, what you um, say in there is uh, that really makes sense it's not like um, um, you know, like the other agents who told me like, okay, you buy Logan or this place, mm -hmm. this is all already in there, you, you make $20 every week kind of thing. And then you know, once I started realizing what you're teaching is um, the right thing, then I said, okay, um, this is my chance. So I was really hesitant. I was waiting almost for six months, seven months. Uh, I think I, almost seven, eight months. I was just waiting to see, should I spend this much money on this course kind of thing? But then once I did that, um, yes, I'm really happy. I've done this. I've done the right thing. And now it's going to help me throughout my journey. It doesn't matter how many I can buy, like five, six, seven, whatever. Yeah. It's going to be a real, real asset. So maybe money looks big in the beginning, but when you look at long term, yeah, absolutely, it's going to help you out. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. Knowledge, knowledge is power. And of course, I'm there to help you for future properties, but even like with this one, you barely took my help. I think you did it basically everything yeah. yourself. Yeah, but uh, I was really happy, like even for the minute things you helped me out with. Um, uh, I, I don't even realize when I was negotiating with my prop, um, the, the agent at the, the real estate, uh, not the real estate agent, my um, um, uh, rental manager. And then like I took your advice and I requested him to take that administration fee. I know it's a small thing, but you know, it's so you put that much effort into even the minute things and, you told me to ask for the photographs, which I can use for the next time, all those kind of, I, I never had any idea of all those kind of things, even though it looks all small things, but then it, uh, I now I realize how detailed um, you go into even the smaller things of, of, of in, in investing a property. So yeah, that really, really is helpful for me. And then, then to select the right suburb at the right time, yeah, was, um, yeah, that was really helpful for me anyway. No, thank, thank you for that, those words. I, I appreciate it. And look, you got a, a, a great deal. It's not easy to buy in this environment. So you need to be very clinical and specific. So, so well done once again, Shibichan, and, and, and congratulations. And, um, and yeah, so for anyone who's sort of watching and, um, you know, if, if this is inspiring, um, let us know if you have any questions about how Shibichan got this deal or any questions about the process of property investing, just leave a comment below. I'm more than help, um, well happy to, to answer that question. Really just here to help you. Um, and if you get value from this video, hit the subscribe button, uh, turn the notification bell on, push like, so then videos like this, you know, I'm trying to be authentic, trying to be real. Shibuchan is a real person. He's not a paid actor. He's waiting for, I think his wife is waiting for him to come to dinner at the back in a, in a second. So, <laughs> you know, this is, this is real stuff, normal, real people getting results. And I think everyone can property investing so revolutionary when done correctly. So thank you for your time, Shibuchan. I really appreciate it. And, and we'll catch up again soon. Yeah, thanks. PK. I'll be chasing you for when I'm ready to buy my next property for more advice anyway. So I'm, I'm there. You, you'll be more than happy to help me. So that's really, really good. So for thanks, sure. PK. Thanks for your help. Yeah.